Hi, my name is Carlo and we are back with the third tutorial on Terragon DE and this time we want to use Posa Pro to get a cartoon style animation. So we opened our walk path tutorial from the first uh, tutorial we did and we are having a figure that is walking along this path and we want to use this for our cartoon animation but we want to choose another camera perspective and we want to see that the figure is walking in front of the camera so we will change the position of the camera very simple so the camera will follow the path uh, from the figure walking away, turning around, turning around again, and then she walks to the camera or to the visit to the spectator. Now we come to the interesting part for the cartoon style rendering. We go to the render button and choose render settings, where we have uh, mainly three sub buttons of the render settings and what we want to do is use the sketch the sketch button where we can see uh, different styles of sketch uh, or of uh, yes rendering he wants to do also we can pop up the sketch designer where we will have <coughs> many different um, possibilities to choose or to change the style of our um, animation. Um, I loaded a preset the last time so I will use this um, but you can play around with these settings here like you want. So I click OK and we are done in the render settings. We have a custom uh, preset and now we go to the movie settings over there and in the movie settings the first thing we want to choose is the file format. Um, personally I prefer the flash format and we have some options here uh, that we can let like uh, let be like they are. The number of colors is um, yeah you can change you or you can use more colors if you want a color a colored uh, animation but for our cartoon style we want uh, only a few colors. This is a very important part because um, if you... so this part is for collecting the color information out of the animation and he can get the color from all frames or from one frame only. Um, if you choose here all frames the rendering time will be uh, much uh, longer. If you click this uh, frame 1 you will only look at frame uh, frame 1 and check what colors are uh, present in this frame and then he will adjust the color management so we can let it like this um, for me maybe later I want to upload this uh, video to YouTube so I want to choose uh, widescreen um, aspect ratio and I want to choose uh, the animation going for all 404 frames so that the whole walk will be visible. <coughs> um, I forgot if I change the aspect ratio of this uh, screen I want to save. <coughs> I have to make sure that the figure is um, in the center of the screen and that there is enough space on top and on the bottom uh, of the figure uh, because here will be the mm, the widescreen format will be using the center stage as a widescreen stage. Okay, so this is okay um, and then I will go to the render settings again check yes everything is okay it's still flash um, and I have to choose here um, the renderer like I can see here we are we have the firefly sketch and preview and we did the sketch renderer so we want to choose this as well 
um, yeah, now we are done and we can do our first uh, movie. So I will just try. Okay, I can save it on the desktop. Walk past tutorial cartoon render. And I click save. Okay, now my computer is a bit too slow <laughs> and uh, it will render uh, some time. So we will be back when the rendering process is finished. So now the rendering has finally finished. And we can pop up our folder where we put in our new video. That is quite small, 8 megabyte. And we can open the video and see what it looks like. Oh well, she is walking around and she looks like a real cartoon character. And she's coming. Okay. <laughs> so, that's all we need to do to get a cartoon-like animation out of Posa. So, see you in the next tutorial and have fun doing your own animations.